I force myself to believe that only the good die young, or that God needed you more as an angel in heaven than my sister on earth. But sometimes that silver lining attitude fades like when the seasons change, and the only things I feel are hate, anger, hurt, and betrayal. You didn't deserve to die. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry because I never had the chance to make you proud. And I'm sorry because a lot of the time I question my faith and I wonder, why wasn't it me instead? I'm sorry God took you before you could see your 18th birthday. I'm sorry you didn't get to celebrate more milestones. And I'm sorry that you hardly got a chance to live. You didn't deserve to die. And I'm livid. I'm livid because you left your family behind. I'm livid because you need it in this world and you're not here. And I'm livid because I keep seeing these careless assholes living decades longer than you ever even got the chance to. I'm livid because your kind heartedness should have given you more days, more months, and more years. You didn't deserve to die. And I'm sad. I'm sad because at the time you left behind a nine-year-old sister who will never get to know who you are because she was too young to comprehend what the hell was going on. And I'm sad because you left behind me, a 12-year-old who thought of you as the best sister in the world and her best friend, but you were just ripped from my grasp. And now I'm about to graduate high school and take my prom pictures with you at a cemetery because it's the closest I'll get to you until my last breath on earth. And it is so hauntingly beautiful it sends bitter chills down my spine. And I'm sad because mom still cries every day, even though it's been almost five years. And I'm sad because even though he was only your stepdad, he watched you grow and loved you like his own. And now there's an empty hole in his heart that we can't fill. And I'm sad because now that nine-year-old is 14 and going into high school soon and she will barely be able to remember the sound of your voice. And that 12-year-old starts college in September and her last memory of you is when she was coming out of the closet for the first time to you. But now she's scared she's going to forget you. So she inks her skin on the back of her neck with angel wings and the word sissy as a constant reminder that you used to be here. You didn't deserve to die. And it's not fair. As childish as it sounds, it's not fair. The pain your family feels is not fair. The way you were taken from this world wasn't fair. It's not fair because you didn't choose this. You were just trying to watch your best friend graduate. It's not fair because the other driver and the three other people involved are moved on and living their lives while you are not. Nothing about your death was fair because you didn't deserve to die. And I miss you. I hate that I miss you because I shouldn't have to. But I miss being able to see you whenever I wanted. I miss the soothing sound of your voice because it calmed even the worst storms. I miss the harmony in your laugh because it was the type of laugh that could make the world stop spinning. And I miss you because the chair you used to sit in is covered in dust because no one dares to sit there. And instead of looking at you, I'm staring past you through a viewless window. And it's in that moment I realize that no one should have to grow up with an empty seat at the dinner table where their sibling used to sit. You didn't deserve to die. Now, no matter how many cliches are shoved in my throat about the good dying young or God needing you more than us, I will always believe that your death was bullshit. I will always believe that a mistake was made because you didn't deserve to die.